We're speaking today with renowned biomechanics specialist, Justin Price. Justin, how does the balance walker arch support really work? That's a great question, Rosalinda, because they work in so many ways. But from balancing the foot, you balance the entire body. Most people have a problem with overpronation, which is when the foot collapses down and in. So what happens is the arch of the foot collapses, doesn't it? Okay. Now when the foot overpronates, you can see that when my foot collapses, my ankle actually rotates in and towards the midline of my body. When that happens, you can also see that my lower leg rotates as well. In fact, if I put my finger on my knee, you can see that when my arch of my foot collapses, my knee goes in. So my knee is obviously the end of these bones in the lower leg. So by the foot collapsing, my ankle is getting stress, my leg is getting stress, and my knee, which everyone has knee pain, is getting stress as well. Now, when the ankle rotates, you can see my whole leg is actually rotating as a result, isn't it? So my leg is this bone in the upper leg is called the femur. The femur goes into the hip socket just like this. So it's kind of shaped the end of the femur, you have the neck of the femur, and then the head of the femur. And then this is the hip socket. So when the leg rotates in, the head of the femur actually goes back. So what happens is, legs rotate in as the foot collapses, and your pelvis rotates forward. So the front of your pelvis goes down, and the back of your pelvis goes up. And you can see that what happens is my lower back arches, doesn't it? So as my leg rotates in, my pelvis rotates, which puts a lot of excessive stress in my lower back because it's having to excessively arch, which can tighten and stress all these structures in my lower back. First of all, this doesn't look too good, does it? Because what happens is your stomach pooches out, but that's a result of your lower back arching forward and your stomach being pushed forward. Now, your body's always trying to balance. So if your lower back is arched excessively and you arched your upper back as well, you would actually fall backwards, wouldn't you? So what happens is when your lower back is arched, your upper back rounds forward to keep you balanced, right? Your lower back arching too much this way, now your upper back rounds this way. So you've created great balance, so your head's now over your center, isn't it, by rounding your upper back. The only problem is that what happens if your lower back is arched and your upper back is rounded, your shoulder blades move away from your spine, don't they? Because your shoulder blades sit on top of your rib cage. As your rib cage goes forward, your shoulders round forward, they elevate and your arms internally rotate. So what happens is your shoulder girdle gets stressed, your neck and shoulders can get stressed because the shoulder blades are coming up and forward, and your head obviously attaches to your upper back, doesn't it? So what happens is as your shoulders go forward and your upper back rounds forward, your head comes forward, and then you'll always align your eyes to the horizon or to what you're looking at. So you're on the computer, you're going to arch your eyes up to look at the computer or driving at where you're going, and now you're stressing your neck as well, aren't you? So you end up looking like a duck. So it's not very pretty, but as the feet collapse, everything in the body has to adapt to that position. But by aligning the feet with the balance walker arch supports, you can align the entire body. So if we put these down, now what's going to happen is my arches and my feet are going to raise up. That's going to rotate the legs out. It's going to bring the hip socket forward. It's going to rotate the pelvis back into better of alignment. So now I've got a great base of support from my hips down. That's going to allow my spine to sit back on top of my hips. And my head, your head weighs 8 to 11 pounds. Every inch forward doubles the effective weight of your head to your body. So can you imagine if your feet are collapsing and your head's 2, 3 inches forward? Your head's now 40, 50 pound bowling ball on top of your body. But by raising the arches and bringing your whole body back into alignment, your head weight dissipates through the body instead of having to be held up by your muscles. So that's why your body feels so much better, because you're not having to fight all these forces and stop yourself falling forward all the time. You're raised from the ground up, and your whole body's raised on top of it, which means less stress, less pain, and more energy as a result. So by aligning the foot with the balance walker arch supports, you align the entire body, which is wonderful because it takes stress off the entire body and can not only help with ankle and foot pain, but with knee pain, hip pain, lower back pain, shoulder and upper back pain, but head and neck pain as well, which is wonderful. 